The Crosby Ireton basketball coaching staff has been a tight-knit group that has been together for more than 20 years. But on Friday, the program lost one of its own as assistant coach Paul Hogue lost his battle with cancer. Our Anthony Scott has more on the coach's impact both on and off the sidelines. Paul's been on my left side for 21 years and that, that'll never change because uh, th that's special. Paul Hogue was a man that wore many hats, but what he will be remembered for most is his continued involvement with Crosby Ironton Athletics. Even with football, he'd, he'd be at every game, uh, even the away games, to go to playoff games. If it's two hours away, you know, he'd be there watching. Uh, he might be on the radio with the radio guy, and uh, just uh, he's just always there for uh, CI Athletics. Hoag was an assistant coach for the varsity basketball team. He was the head coach of the freshman squad, helped with the elementary program, and did most of the fundraising for the team. You know, as an assistant, uh, a few of the characteristics you look at is loyalty, and, and Paul certainly was very, very loyal, um, very hardworking as well. And then maybe the most important is just he was a caring individual. No matter the circumstances, on or off the field, Paul was there to help. He'd be willing to help anybody. If it was school-related or his church or his family or our community here, he would just drop everything and do it. Hogue's passion for athletics and helping others is unmatched, and he leaves a void in the Crosby Ironton program that will be almost impossible to fill. With the responsibilities and duties that he had, uh, the personality that he had, and you see uh, someone you get attached to for the last 21 years, uh, you just don't replace somebody like that overnight. Reporting from Crosby, Anthony Scott, Lakeland News. Hogue was honored as the Minnesota Basketball Coaches Association Assistant Coach of the Year this past season, the highest award an assistant coach can receive. If you enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland PBS.